Great morning everyone and welcome to the Influence Sessions for the Franchise Industry. We've got a great panel lineup today and there's quite a few of you watching already so welcome. If you are watching via our live web page which is meetthefranchisor.com, please just type in in the Q&A box below your name and say hi, we'd love to give you a shout out a little bit later on. Now I'd like to introduce the panel today but first of all, Let's talk about the topic. We're looking at the best practice for franchise support systems. Now this is a really important model to get right for your franchise group and we, I believe we've created a really interesting panel to help support you in that today. So with no further ado, let's get going. So myself, my name's Emma Monroe, I am the CEO of Yossum. We deliver support systems for franchise groups which includes training and company-wide meetings all via this platform of Google Hangouts. Um, we also own meetthefranchisor.com which is a new platform which gives you a free directory listing and a free interview on this very platform. Now we've got Nikki Allison. Hi Nikki. Hi Emma. Hello everyone. Hi. And Nikki's based in Omaha, Nebraska in the States. Um, Nikki, would you mind telling us a little bit about what you do and who you are? I'm the co-founder for the Franchise Success Institute. We are a coaching firm that um, has created a certified executive and leadership coach in the franchise world um, certification. And the goal of it is to share leadership strategies for franchises to help you grow and prosper. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on your Memorial Day holiday of all things. So thank you. Thank you. Now we've, now we've got Len Ferguson from Finn Franchise Brokers based in Brisbane. Good morning, Len. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Len, would you mind telling us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Um, we're actually, uh, well, I'm the co-founder of Finn Franchise Brokers and, um, and Finn Business Sales in Australia. We're the largest um, business sales agents in Australia. We've got over 30 offices around the country and um, all of our offices are franchise, uh, franchise offices. So um, all of our guys are franchisees that run their, their businesses around Australia. Excellent. So Len, I believe you'll have a very interesting viewpoint as both a franchisor and a franchise broker dealing with lots of other models as well. Yep, correct. We do. So we definitely have a Excellent. very different answer. Excellent. Looking forward to hearing your views today. Now we've got Kelly Grace from Volano Solutions who is also based in Omaha, Nebraska. Welcome to the panel, Kelly. Thanks, Emma. I appreciate you uh, orchestrating this call. Excellent, excellent. Would you mind telling us who you are and what you do? Yeah, so I'm Kelly Grace. I work for a small software company based in Omaha called Volano Solutions. Um, we created uh, a mobile app last year called Action Card, which we're selling into uh, brands uh, globally, which is uh, essentially a mobit, mobile audit tool that uh, field managers use when inspecting their franchisees for uh, best practices and standards compliance. And so that's gotten me into a more of a consultative role as I, I work with franchisors in writing standards and helping marry their operations manuals with their, their uh, field standards and, and helping drive consistency at all of their locations. And so we're a technology slash consultant uh, and we're working with some pretty nice brands right now, but we're fairly young. We just launched the tool last year. Fantastic. And I met Kelly um, in the in New Orleans earlier this year, so it was good to meet Kelly there at the International Franchise Association Conference and um, had a good look at his product and it's very, very nice. I'd suggest checking it out. Now I'd like to introduce John Sweet Kelly from the principal of Crow Hallworth in Brisbane who has a beautiful software to um, share with us and his insights on best practice for franchise support systems. Welcome, John. Hi, Emma. Thanks a lot for the introduction. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, today's uh, presentation. Uh, Emma, it's uh, great to, uh, to join you and uh, everyone else who's on the conference call. Guys, uh, we uh, specialise in um, developing software solutions for franchises so they can evaluate their performance. So creating a, a visual scorecard which uh, represents both the financial and non-financial metrics. Um, these, there are two products, Open Measures, which uh, www.openmeasures.com which allows you to uh, compare your performance against other franchisees if you're within a, a group. 
Um, and this is used extensively across the retail, legal, um, financial planning, fast food uh, outlets, for example, real estate, uh, for example. And then there's another product called uh, Analysis One, so www.analysis-one.com, which allows you to measure your own performance and benchmark it again internally. So you can create your own financial scorecard and your non-financial scorecard from a blank canvas um, and measure those metrics which are critical to your success um, moving forward. Thanks, Emma. So we have one big question for each of our panellists to answer today, which is, in your experience, because each of us do work in the franchise industry and we actually have one franchisor here as well, what is franchise support best practice? And second part of the question is, in real terms, what does it actually look like? So Nikki, I'm going to start with you with the first part of the question. What do you believe is franchise support best practice? Thanks, Emma. Franchise support best practice in our world is um, those practices which support a franchise um, from the coaching standpoint so that the franchisor can really assist this franchisee in being as productive and as prof profitable as possible. So what we do, we work with an exclusive coach training program with the franchises to improve their financial performance, uh, franchise satisfaction, and brand reputation. And what that looks like is really working with the front line of coaches inside the franchisor um, or those area developers that are going to work with the franchisees, um, ensuring leadership strategies and best practices uh, to transfer them out into the field and into the franchise. Um, and so really as a holistic, it's just kind of that way to transfer the knowledge and the systems of the franchise to uh, actual delivery of the franchisee. Excellent. And so in your experience, Nikki, in real terms, what does that look like from a franchisor's perspective? How, do, how does it actually... Um, assist them to help their franchisees perform better? Basically, basically what that's going to look like is it begins with a three-step or excuse me, a three-day um, program if we do it on-site for a larger franchise. Uh, we have a process that we do over the telephone. It's a telecall program that is a 15-week program, um, and we create a certified franchise executive and leadership um, coach program, and through that, the front line is certified to work with those franchisees. So then what it looks like is as part of this process where they become certified coaches, um, we have those coaches identify what the top three problems are of their particular franchise clients and we work with them to create measurable impact um, into solving those problems. So in other words, for example, we might work with a franchise whose number one problem is um, maybe developing their territory and so we'll help those coaches develop a custom specific territory development program so that the results across all franchisees um, become more consistent and uh, more profitable. Excellent. And actually, that actually falls in line with something that I discovered at the IFA conference, Nikki, is that um, there was a certain company, who I won't name names, who had an amazing franchise support system, which is one of the reasons why I chose that topic for today. And one of their strategies was to actually pull their top 20% out of their stores and into a workshop like like what you're talking about, mm -hmm. not only to um, coach them but to reward them um, for being mm -hmm. the top 20%, to give them that contact with top level management that as a brand grows, they may not necessarily um, get that, that top level contact. Is that what you're talking about? It is in part. What, what we really know is that that the problems that our coaching program tends to solve are where companies are having some inconsistencies across their franchisees. 
uh, we help them really look at the root cause. So it could be with those top 20% or it may be with um, really all of your franchisees. Coaching is a process that helps the good get better. It's not a, a process whereby we may be having compliance issues uh, that we need to deal with or those other things. Um, we know that the area developers are very busy wearing all different kinds of hats. We know that they um, oftentimes kind of reach their limits with their tools. Um, we know that they get very stretched thin. So to your point, working with the top 20% to really help grow them um, is a phenomenal thing to do. Um, but it's not just limited to the top 20%. But it is very different than more of a compliance role. Absolutely. And you're definitely right in that um, area developers have a huge responsibility and a huge um, varying um, topics to cover with their franchisees that they look after, don't they? They do. They do. And giving them very broad tools that they can take and harness for their own particular use um, gives them a very solid foundation for addressing the coaching needs of their franchisees um, and really helps support um, them. You know, one of the most common things that we hear from the folks that we work with is, I've got some franchisees and they're just not coachable. Now, in some cases, it's because they are very high-performing folks and so they feel like, well, we already know how to do things. Maybe in some cases, they're just plain not coachable. But I do know that when you train somebody with very solid foundational coaching skills and you give them the tools to support the franchisees, um, that that they can develop the system based on their franchise, franchisees' top problems and by solving those problems can go a long ways towards really uh, growth and prosperity for the franchisee and the franchisor. Absolutely. Len, as a franchisor, I'm going to bring you into this conversation and get your thoughts on what Nikki's proposed. Um, yeah, I think what she's saying is what she's saying is 100% is right. I think that um, we can only go on what we do in here and what I've seen in other franchise groups and um, you definitely need to you definitely need to have a, a coaching mentality with franchisees. I think a lot of a lot of situations happen where um, a lot of franchisors that I've seen sometimes treat their franchisees like employees and um, and that can uh, have a negative effect on the way they feel about their business. Um, they're definitely got to be um, they definitely got to be treated as business owners and then um, and managed as such. And um, and they've got to have that um, they've got to have that feeling that it is their business and they are running it. Um, we see that um, a lot in the in the industry where some support staff will go in and, and more or less treat that franchisee like they're subordinate, and um, that's why they lose touch with that franchisee and and lose their power of influence over that franchisee. Absolutely. So thank you so much for those insights today, Nikki. I mean, as you said, you're working with um, numerous brands, so you obviously see the behind the scenes and the outcomes from that um, franchise support system. Correct. Correct. And you know, it's it's one of those things that um, to lend, um, really being able to delineate and approach those those franchisees in a different manner you know, creating the kind of environment where it is a true coaching relationship to help them prosper. It's real interesting to me to hear the, the feedback from those corporate franchisors um, in how much better their relationships get with their franchisees and how much better their results get um, once you really switch over to a really solid coaching program. Mm -hmm.